everyone, this is again Midnight Mommy. So for this tutorial, tituro ko sa inyo yung mathematics ng plane sailing. So itong plane sailing, madalas itong ginagamit ng mga maritime students sa navigation classes nila. So ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mathematics kung paano naging possible yung plane sailing. At saka kung paano natin magagamit yung trigonometric ratios para sa plane sailing. So simulan muna natin sa definition. Okay, so yung position ng ship, pwede natin siyang i-describe in terms of two points. So, ano yung points na yun? Yun yung tinatawag natin na longitude and latitude. So, yung latitude, yun yung horizontal lines sa earth surface. And then, yung longitude, yun yung vertical lines sa earth surface. So, ngayon, um, kung i-describe natin yung point A, na ito yung ating starting point. Okay, so parang pwede tayo mag-drawing ng, ayan, ito yung horizontal line na to. Ito yung latitude ng A. And then, yung pa-vertical na line ito, ito yung longitude of A. Ngayon, yung itong shape nito, nice ay nag-travel siya. So, this time, nasa point B na siya. Okay? So, pagdating dito sa point B, pwede rin natin i-describe yung position niya, again, in terms of the latitude and the longitude. So, ang drawing natin yung horizontal line na ito, ito yung latitude of B. And then, yung vertical line, yun yung ating longitude of B. Na kung mapapansin nyo, pwede nating ma-measure yung distance na tinravel nung ship from point A up to point B. Okay? So, paano natin ma-measure yun? Ma-measure natin yun by using the difference in latitude. So, paano yung difference in latitude? Ito yung, um, pina, ito yung distance between the latitude of A and latitude of B. Ayan, ito yung length na yun. So, yan ang difference in latitude. And then, pwede rin natin siyang i-measure yung tinatawag natin na departure. So, ito naman yung distance from longitude of A to longitude of B. Okay? Ngayon, yung, uh, yung distance na na-travel ng ating ship, ito yon So, from this point A hanggang dito sa point B. So, mapapansin nyo para siyang hypotenuse ng isang right triangle. Okay? Now, ito, meron din tayong tinatawag na course. Okay. Ang mga ships kasi sinasabi kung ano yung course niya. Yung course natin, ito yung angle na na-measure natin in a clockwise direction. So, parati ito nagsisimula sa north. Okay. Again, parati nagsisimula yung angle natin sa north. Okay. So, yun yung tinatawag natin na course. Na kung papansin ninyo, based dito sa ating um, illustration, pwede tayong mag-form ng dalawang right triangle. So, ito yung unang right triangle mo. Okay, ito from here, point A. Ito yung vertical line. And then, ito yung horizontal line. And then, ito yung hypotenuse. Yan. Tapos, yung susunod na right triangle, ito. Ayan. So, papansin nyo, dalawa yung right triangle natin. Okay. So, ngayon, ang gagawin ko, kukunin ko yung right triangle dito sa taas, yung naka-inverted. Ayan. Ito yun. Okay. So, ito si... Um, Etong angle na to, ito yung tinatawag natin na course. And then, yung distance na to from here up to here, ito yung ating departure. And then, yung distance from here up to here, ito yung ating dilat or difference in latitude. Okay, so, based dito sa right triangle na to, pwede na natin i-derive yung trigonometric ratios natin. By the way, ito nga pala, itong um, hypotenuse natin dito. Ito yung mag-represent ng distance na na-travel ng ship. So, ito yung D. Okay. So, based dito sa diagram natin, um, i-derive natin yung trigonometric functions. So, i-derive natin yung SO ka TOA. Okay. So, mag-start tayo sa sine. So, yung sine ng ating course is equal to opposite side. So, ang opposite side niya is yung departure. Divided by the hypotenuse. So, ang hypotenuse niya ay D. Yan. So, ibig sabihin, para masolve natin yung departure, so, ang gagawin lang natin, imumultiply lang natin yung distance doon sa sign ng course. Now, next one, yung cosine naman. So, yung cosine naman ng course natin, di ba, this is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, adjacent side ng course is yung D lat. Divided by the hypotenuse, which is D. Yan. So, para ma-solve natin ang D lat, okay, so, pwede mo i-cross multiply yan. So, D is equal, uh, so, D lat is equal to D cosine of the course. Yan. So, nakuna natin yung equation sa pagkuha ng D lat. Ito yung equation sa pagkuha ng departure. Okay. Now, yung isa naman, uh, kunin natin yung sa tangent. Okay. 
So, yung tangent ng course is equal to opposite side is the departure divided by the adjacent. So, adjacent side niya is dilat. Yan. So, ito na mga equation na to, pwede natin itong gamitin kapag hinahanap natin yung value ng course. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung course, ibig sabihin kailangan natin kunin ang inverse tangent ng departure over dilat. So, ito po yung mga formulas na ginagamit natin sa plane sailing. So, gumamit tayo ng definition ng trigonometric ratios para ma-derive to. So, ito is only applicable kapag ang course mo is less than 90 degrees. Kasi kapag iba na yung um, course mo, kaya pag greater than 90 degrees na yan, iba na rin yung competition. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo rin, since meron tayong right triangle, at let's say isosolve natin yung value ng D, so, pwede natin ito gamitan ng Pythagorean Theorem. Okay, bakit? Kasi meron tayong dalawang legs dito. So, yung dalawang legs natin, ito yung departure at saka yung dilat. Okay, so pwede natin makuha ang D by using D squared is equal to depth squared plus dilat squared. Yan, yan yung Pythagorean Theorem. So, para masolve natin ang D, kukunin lang natin yung square root ng depth squared plus dilat squared. Yan. So, ito yung pang-apat na formula na pwede natin gamitin sa plain sailing. Kita natin kung paano natin magagamit yung formula sa na-derive natin para dito sa ating um, example. A ship steaming at a course of 53 degrees covered a distance of 74 nautical miles. What is the departure and the difference in latitude? Okay. Okay, so, sa problem, meron tayong course na 53 degrees through north. Ang ibig sabihin ng 53 degrees true north, ibig sabihin niyan, sinukat tong angle na to, starting dun sa north. Okay? Dun sa north na line. Okay. So, again, yung mga na-derive natin na equations kanina, pwede natin yung gamitin dito. Kasi, yung angle natin is less than 90 degrees. So, bukod dun sa course, meron din tayong distance na 74 nautical miles. Okay. Now, next, ang pinapahanap sa atin is, what is the departure and the Difference in latitude. Okay. So, based ito sa ano natin, sa problem. Okay. So, kung drawing natin yung triangle natin, yung right triangle, ito siya. So, ito yung course na 53 degrees. Ito yung distance na 74 nautical miles. Ito yung um, departure. And then, ito yung dilat. Okay. So, again, based dito, Uh, pwede natin makompute ang departure muna. So, ang departure natin will be sine 53 degrees is equal to departure over 74 nautical miles. So, ginamit natin yung so. Opposite over hypotenuse. So, para makompute ang departure, so yan ay uh, 74 nautical miles. Go cross multiply lang natin. Times sine of 53 degrees. So, ang sagot dito is 59 nautical miles. Yan, yan yung ating departure. Okay? Next, i-compute natin yung dilat. Okay? So, ang dilat natin is kinito. So, since itong dilat is adjacent side ng 53 degrees, so gagamitin natin yung cosine. So, cosine of 53 degrees is equal to dilat over yung hypotenuse natin na 74 nautical miles. So, para makompute ang dilat, so this is um, 74 nautical miles times cosine of 53 degrees. So, ang value ng dilat natin is, is 45 nautical miles. Ayan. Okay. So, ganito yung pag-solve ng um, plain sailing problems using yung trigonometric ratios. Okay, so, magbigay pa ako na isa pang example. A sailing ship has a departure of 43 nautical miles and a difference in latitude of 62 nautical miles. What is the course and the distance traveled by the ship? Okay, so, sulit po na natin yung given natin. So, ang given natin is, meron tayong departure na 43 nautical miles. Meron tayong dilat na 62 nautical miles. So, ang pinapahanap sa atin is yung course and yung distance na na-travel ng ship. So, again, kung meron tayong um, 
triangle, right triangle. So, ito siya. So, ito yung ating departure. Ito yung ating dilat. And then, ito yung ating D. So, ito yung ating course. Okay. So, para compute yung distance, so, gagamitin natin to ng Pythagorean theorem. So, gagamitin natin yung square root of depth squared plus d lat squared. Okay. So, para masolve natin yung d, so, kunin natin yung square root ng, ang depth squared natin is 43 squared plus d lat is 62. So, kunin natin yung square nyan. So, pag sinolve natin to using the calculator, meron tayong 27 nautical mile. Yan. Okay? Na para makompute natin yung course, so gagamitan natin siya ng tangent. So, the course is equal to inverse tangent of, okay, so na opposite side, so yun yung departure, over the adjacent, so d lat. And so, kung sa-substitute natin to, meron tayong inverse tangent ng, ang departure natin is 43, divided by d lat na 62. So, ang course natin ay 44 degrees. So, ibig sabihin ito is 44 degrees tong angle na to. Okay, and lalagyan natin siya ng t sa dulo. Para ibig sabihin yan, ito yung angle na measure from the north. So, 44 degrees true north. Okay, so again, ito pinakita ko sa inyong mga solutions. Um, ito lang yung case kapag yung course natin is less than 90 degrees. Kasi kapag greater than 90 degrees, iba na yung uh, magiging equation natin. So, on my next video, ipapakita ko naman yung case kapag yung course natin is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. So, see you on my next video.